Hello everyone, welcome back to my show. So today uh, is day two of our uh, Kashmir trip. So now let's see what we are going to be doing today. So now we are checking out of this hotel. That is the Hilltop Hotel. Okay, so now we are exiting Hotel Hilltop. This is the nice balcony which they have. Uh, so people can come sit here. They have some snacks, they can eat snacks over here. It's very very beautiful place. There are solar panels also over there. Now we will be going to Srinagar and uh, seeing the local places. Okay, so now we have not yet reached our hotel. But here is the which lake? Dal. Dal lake. So this is the Dal lake. So here are all houseboats and all are there. It's a very good looking lake. Okay, so this, uh, these are some of the boats up close here you can see. Uh, there are some water scooters. Uh, here there's a boat, water scooters. Paddle boats also are there. So here all boats are there. So we'll be going all around this lake. You'll get to see everything. So, in a distance, uh, you can see that someone is uh, riding a water scooter. You can see the waves. Okay, so now we have come to this Mughal garden, which is very nice, at least for now. So, let's go in and see that, that how this looks. So it is near some mountains. So just as we enter, we see a nice water slide type thing. So here earth lasts and flowers, don't pluck them. Is it written? So plucking flowers is prohibited. Okay, so this is the second part of the garden. So there are lots of flowers and here, I think from here only the water goes down for that water slide type thing and here there's a small fountain and here there are all flowers, here's a picnic area, wow. Okay this is a royal spring, uh, so people take lots of water from here, I don't know uh, that water the speciality of this water but I think there is something special so people keep filling water here so this is the magical spring it is kept covered over here this is the royal spring actually okay so here uh, the spring water is going from here the royal spring and all the way there is flowing into the water slide so this is the root of the water Okay, and it's very cold. This water is also very cold. Okay, so this is uh, the top of the garden. Uh, there's the falls, uh, I mean not the falls, the spring. And uh, here in front is the dull lake where all the houseboats are. You saw that uh, previously. So here are the many beautiful flowers. So uh, th this people consider as drinking water also. All this water, people are filling from there and they are drinking it. I don't know how clean it is, but many people are doing that. So these are the many flowers. We have some yellow, red and black flowers. White, red, I think these are roses. Okay, here are some more roses. They all have a very good smell. And here is a picnic type area. Okay, so this is a rose garden over here. All sorts of roses are here. Uh, red, white and yellow roses are here. Oh, and there are some purple flowers also here. And there are these big, big uh, trees looking like pillars. One more rose garden. Some yellow flowers, purple flowers. Okay, so there are many stages in this garden. 
people are climbing up this hill also in the garden very nice okay so here these are some flowers and there are some bees also on them but there's an interesting characteristic of these flowers so just see i will touch one so when you touch it yeah it looks like they are made of plastic and it feels like they are made of plastic but the stem is real and the leaves are real so i'm really confused right now that is this plastic or is it real or maybe it's a hybrid because it's fully plastic feel it's not even breaking so it's not even breaking and it it feels like plastic oh my And this is really something new. Dried, dried petals. No. Okay, so this bush is not plastic, but it is real. And all pollen is also wet, but rest is plastic. Okay, so this is the uh, most part of the garden from high. So all this water is coming from a very clean spring, uh, which they say. is a very clean spring and all these fountains also have spring water in them and the origin is there i showed you so if you want you can drink but i would not suggest because it may have bacteria okay now we are exiting this garden okay so it's really crowded around here so now we are exiting the garden let's see which is the next place we'll go Okay so now we have come at this place the name is Pari Mahal uh, so now we'll enter in some time after getting the tickets okay entering in Pari Mahal oh wow so this is the Pari Mahal so it's a palace think here also there are many flowers Oh and from here also we can see the lake. Okay so this is the view from here. Yeah. And there's one a tree which has a unique type of flower. And now this is a lake. A dull lake. So from here we can see that there's a motor boat over there. So we'll be going there also after a few days or maybe I don't know when we'll go, but we are going to go. And even this place is surrounded by mountains. And this this place ka chains are also uh, very uh, unique. I've never seen like these chains before. And this is the palace. Okay, so from here we get a even better view of the. fountain or there so those are the musical fountains or something come come here come okay so now we are going to the upper part of this palace not much to see here only the view you can't see much of the palace part okay and i would suggest don't bring uh, very old people here because it is hard to climb so here on top is a flower garden as you can see oh wow and this is the view we can see a whole park from here and the mountains and there's a even upper place okay we have reached at the highest point of this whole palace type thing and uh, there's a pond type thing over here lots of flowers and a great view really beautiful okay so here all the details of pari mahal are there and uh, in three different languages if you want you can pause the video and read so I think this must be arabic or something and uh, this is hindi arabic english okay so if you want to see a great view of mountains and lake only come here there's there's nothing else to see here 
okay so please do not come here if you are expecting to see a palace uh, because you can't see anything like that is just climbing and it's very dangerous also the stairs are all wobbly deformed and all but the view is good okay so even here one ticket is 24 rupees so if you want you can come here if you're young otherwise if you're old please do not come here it's really dangerous we just saw a person who fell down the whole staircase so please be careful here okay so this is the road uh, to and from Pari Mahal so remember uh, that you will have to walk a bit because cars can't come all this way so about a five minutes walk you have to do wherever you go five minutes walk because uh, cars can't come here that easily okay so now we are returning from this palace and uh, we uh, before this you saw us in the Mughal garden but that was the uh, Jashma Shahi Mughal garden afterwards uh, uh, in the coming video that is day 3 or day 4 we will see the real Mughal garden so now we are going to see the botanical garden so now we will have to go down the hill ok so now uh, we have a change of plans we are going to Mughal garden we will have to skip botanical garden because of time constraint even though we are there for many days we won't be there in the same place ok so now uh, we are going to go to Mughal garden ok so now we are on our way down ok so now we are coming to Shalimar garden it's even bigger than the Mughal one we didn't go there because this one is much bigger so we entered here there's not much crowd we got in in about one minute very fast come in oh and from here also we can see snow peak so this is a mountain i mean this is the garden there's a bit crowded inside but the entry is not crowded at all so let's see what are the attractions here this picnic area also okay so now we found something written here so we found out that this was laid by Emperor Jahangir it's not so clear but it's laid by Emperor Jahangir so this is a part of the garden so here if you are coming in a large group this is a good picnic area and uh, here also the ticket price is 24 I think all places over here is 24 so it's pretty reasonable ok now here there's some structures and I think water used to be there here ok so this is the garden not so different from the others ok so now this is a 4 type thing and uh, a person is playing the flute very well I hope you can hear it I think in the olden days this used to be filled with water now most of it has dried up ok so here are some multicolor flowers They're very nice ok so now we are on the way to our hotel named Solar Residency so we are on the way to Solar Residency and we will see how it is so here we are at the Lalit Hotel. So it's a reconstructed palace into a hotel. So VIPs only stay here. So we are just going to see how it is in front. There is a horse cart also. Okay, so this is uh, the interior part of the Lalit Hotel. And this is the hotel and there are all the rooms here and here. Wow. So nice, yeah, huh? really premium hotel. And it's surrounded by mountains and all. I'm sure in the snow it look very nice. Okay, so here we are going to eat evening snack over here. 
anyone can come here and eat evening snack. Hmm. So we'll order the food and we'll see. So this, these are the rooms. Hi there. We are right now here in the Lalit Grand. So we took a detour from our hotel and just came here to see the place. First of all, the place is amazing. Very astonishingly well maintained. Gardens are perfectly manicured and huge, huge place. And in my bag, you can see the rooms and uh, they have put the Chinnar restaurant uh, outside. And uh, we already have uh, some function preparations for a function going on in that corner. So, uh, seems to be some not a wedding, some party. Okay, so now let me tell you the cost of visiting this place. So the rooms over here are upward from 22,000 per night and during peak seasons, that is now, it is upward of 45,000 per night. And uh, the food menu, we just went through it. So just as a reference, the tea will cost you 425 rupees, uh, pizza will cost you 1200 rupees and then you can take a guess what other things will cost. Okay, if you are still guessing, let me tell you, a bottle of mineral water will cost you 350 rupees. So I think that is good enough for you not to visit or probably a place to visit. But you should definitely walk in here, take a round of the property and go, even though if you are not having something. But since we have time, so we thought of sitting here, having a sip of tea in this grandiose place. So that's all from Lalit Grant. Thank you. Okay, so you heard the facts at all. So if you have won a, a lucky draw or a jackpot or something, you come here and you can use it all in one. Or if you are very rich, then you can come here. So everything is very costly. Okay. Finally, the wait is over and the most awaited thing, that is the tea and the cookies over here, they have come. So, something surprising is the stirrer, which you can see. It's something uh, strange, but still it does the job. So now let's taste the tea and find out what's the secret. Mm. <laughs> I think our canteen makes much better tea even though when he's angry. But the joy of having cookies which are baked here in the hotel in the midst of this fantastic launch is different. So you must definitely come here. Then you will value your tea ka thela which is there below the office. Okay, so you heard that how was the tea? So we got it in this teapot and we got like this type of lamp. So, you heard that how is this tea? The biscuits are also pretty plain. Okay, so now we are entering the lift and you can see that this lift is see-through. Wow, this is just like the lift in uh, Dubai, Dubai's yeah. new museum. This is the exact same style. Okay, so we are going up. Now we'll see our room. Okay, so this is the view from an upper floor. Okay, and here is the view. This hotel room also has wooden floor. So this was the hotel room of Solar Residency. This was the deluxe, uh, deluxe model. There is suit also uh, and other also uh, rooms available for different prices. Okay, so that was the end of day two. So now we'll see you in day three. So now we are going to sleep.